For years, a uh, 24-year-old Joshua Kwache was bedridden after a hit-and-run driver struck him. He struggled to do things for himself because every movement of his body was a painful ordeal and only surgery could give him a semblance of normal life again. Well, after the broadcast of uh, Joshua's story, a philanthropist has gone ahead to pay for the surgery. My colleague Judith Awache Tando again uh, reported on his earlier condition, visited his residence and has filed this report. <laughs> He was walking just like anyone else. Until one fateful night on the Medina Denton Highway, three years ago, a vehicle hit him. That incident was a life changing one. Due to his inability to get medical attention, Joshua would spend every day of his life groaning in pain. He would go days without food and lived in a basement with no proper place of convenience. For Joshua, all hope was lost. Every day I'm going through pain. Um, I mean, it's very bad, but I, I, I always cry and I mean, all I do is to pray to God. After reporting on Joshua's story, however, Joy News was contacted by a philanthropist who volunteered to pay for a surgery for Joshua under the condition of anonymity. After several checkups at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, neurosurgeon Dr. Maulia Metepe explained the extent of damage in Joshua's spine. He also has um, a problem with controlling his urine and his feces, and uh, the scans basically revealed a fracture in one of his vertebral bodies. Um, the spine made up of 33 bones. Some people have more than that, maybe 34. And it's basically seven bones in your neck, 12 bones in your chest, five bones in your flank or lumbar region, and then the sacrum and caucus follow. Now we're talking about the second bone of the five in the lumbar region. That was what got broken in Joshua Kwachi's case. Dr. Metafe further highlighted the chances for Joshua to walk again were slim. When Joshua visited us, I told him that the alignment of the spine is not good. Surgery will realign the spine and surgery would also take off any form of pressure on the tail end of the spinal cord as i mentioned we do not think that the recovery of his nerves is possible looking at the long duration in which he has waited so basically that is a very slim chance and I think it is uh, too slim to say a yes to. This however did not discourage Joshua nor his donor. An initial payment of 20,000 Ghana cities was made to the Kolibu Teaching Hospital for the commencement of the surgery. After spending a week in the hospital, Joshua finally underwent a spinal surgery. Not only that, but through donations to Wipe Your Tears Foundation, which took up Joshua's basic care, he was moved into a new apartment. We visited his residence a week after. It's been about a month since we last visited Joshua.
able to survive. In all, a total of 32,160 Ghana cities was paid for Joshua's surgery. So first of all, I'll give thanks to Almighty God, the Creator, um, for opening this a big door for me. And secondly, to wipe your tears foundation for their support and their love. And thirdly, I'll give thanks to J News and the multimedia. Um, may God richly bless you all. And may God richly bless the man or the donor who donated for my surgery. So there you have it. Joshua is extremely grateful and will forever be grateful. Reporting for Joy News, my name is Judith. I will